The quad sequencer software has a simulator which lets you run the software in simulator mode. This is without a high voltage sequencer connected to it. You can access it from the Windows menu. You click uh, Simulated. Here is the screen here. You start by setting up a sequence. So you can either click Add, and add a sequence here, or we can use one that's already been created. So in Sample Files, we can choose the cations with floating injection. Here is our sequence here. And, uh, I'm going to change the duration of the injection step to 40 seconds just to give me time to explain things to you. In this sequence, uh, we have an injection which now lasts 40 seconds. It's going to apply a thousand volts to the output one. So this is where our sample is going to be. It applies ground to output three here while output 2 and 4 are floating. So if our sample is here, it applies 1000 volts and it pushes it to reservoir 3. We have a separation step which lasts 120 seconds. It's now going to apply 1000 volts to output 2 here and ground to output 4 over here, which is going to push our little plug of sample, which will be in this junction. It's going to push it towards reservoir 4 was doing the separation. You can see in the sequence control 1, just at the separation step, it's closed. So it's going to send a message, for example, to Power Chrome Software to start recording the data at this separation step. Uh, we can click uh, Compact View so that we just get our essential information. If we try to run the sequence now, it's going to tell us that the interlock is open. The interlock is a safety feature to protect users from getting a shock. We can close the safety interlock by clicking here. It's going to say interlock is closed. If we try to run now, it's going to tell us that uh, the device is not armed. So this is the red button on the front of the high voltage sequencer, which you need to press. Or you can click here to arm. So we're now ready to run. I'm going to click run here and you can see it's doing the injection step. It's applying a thousand volts on reservoir one and ground on reservoir three. So there'd be a current flowing here and we can enter that here. For example, this could be 20 microamps reservoir one and minus 20 microamps reservoir three. So now it's put these arrows to show the flow of current and it's labeled 20 microamps minus 20 microamps here. It's still doing the injection step, so it's nearly finished. So that's number one, injection. This is the total run. It's just about to swap to the separation step. So for 120 seconds, it's going to apply a thousand volts to reservoir two and ground to reservoir four. Now again, there'd be a, a current flowing here. This could say be plus 10 microamps. This could be minus 10 microamps. So let's put the arrows to show the flow of current and the 10 microamps flowing here and the minus 10 microamps flowing there. So you can use the simulator to do tests or to be used in teaching without a high voltage sequencer connected to the computer.